And now, live from the SOM Studios. Welcome, everybody, to right. 505 Live. I'm Bobby Lee, here, as always, with the Prince Malik. And we are in for another oh, hot wow. one tonight. Whew, if it's anything like last week, oh my God, Man, brother. Last week ended on Ooh. a bummer for me. Bummer for I you, mean, but not like, for the golden one. Not for the golden one, of course. I mean, we had Evan Golden versus Blake Gibson for the title. And, uh, I mean, I've talked to Blake Gibson all week. I mean, he let himself down. He, sure he played Evan Golden's game he instead sure of coming did. in here and <laughs> playing the game that got him here. So now we've got a new hybrid champion in Evan Golden. So the new guy walks in the door and gets handed the title. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, wait a minute. Nathan, welcome back. You've been out just a couple of weeks. Tell me what happened, review it for the fans who may not know, and what are you gonna do about it? James Anthony, or should I say James Cheap Shot Anthony. You see, James, I gotta admit, I underestimated you. I underestimated the depths that you were willing to sink to make sure that you stayed heavyweight champion. June 11th, CJ's in Kingsport. What happened? It was a war. It was a battle. And I took you to the deepest waters you've ever been in. And what did you do, huh? You took the coward's way out. Low blow. But that wasn't enough, was it, James? No, see, I've watched the match probably a thousand times. Low blow, belt shot, one, two, Three. Three. Lobos are going around. You call that a victory, here. James? Does that make you feel like a champion? Here's what's going to happen. All that anger. I sat in that hospital and I thought with my arm in a sling, my head throbbing in pain, I thought about you, James. And I took all that anger, I balled it up, and I'm using it to get back in this ring and tell you that I'm back. Taking that championship. Number two, I didn't cheat, okay? I didn't cheat, number one, all right? Okay? You see, you're not cheating if you aren't trying. All right, Nathan Cross? And I don't know if you got the memo last week, but I made it very clear. I am not defending this title for the remainder of this month. I need everybody to shut the hell up when I'm talking. Y'all hear me talking. You hear me talking. James, James, James. Let's <laughs> let's let's focus on the issue at hand here with Nathan. Now, like I said, I am not defending this championship for the remainder of this month. You're gonna have to get in line like everybody else, Nathan Cross. What you need to focus on is that six-man tag match we got tonight. I mean, I wasn't even supposed to be here. You knew I wasn't supposed to be here. Okay? No matter what happens tonight, Nathan Cross, you're not in my league. You're never gonna be in my league. You're looking at the next NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion. 
And when I win that title, I'll be so glad because I don't have to look at you. I don't have to look at you. I won't have to look at none of you ugly ass rednecks because I'll be somewhere better and on a higher pedestal. So Nathan Cross, you're not worth my time anymore, big man. But if you happen, I don't know, maybe you happen uh -oh. to get the pin tonight. Maybe if your team wins, maybe I'll reconsider. Nathan, what, what's your response to that? Um, I was there June 11th. You definitely had the champ beat. See, James, I was expecting something like this. I mean, you aren't exactly a fighting champion. And being as I prefer earning my opportunities anyway, tonight when I beat you, maybe we can talk about a rematch. There you heard it, guys. Nathan Cross wants a rematch for the SOM Championship. Malik, Bobby Lee, back to you. All right. Well, there well, you go. That is definitely. Uh What's up, School Morton Wrestling fans? This is the NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion, Terry Morton. And James Anthony, I, I hear you. You want an open challenge, huh? Well, you know, me being a Morton, it's in my blood to accept these open challenges, so to speak. So James Anthony, you're on. July 26th, Green County Fair, the NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion, the future legend, Terry Morton, is showing up to put you in your place. See you soon there, James. See you soon. Um, well, I mean, he's had his shots, you know, and he's put on a clinic in a few matches. I mean, uh, there have been a few matches with him in it that were just oh, yeah. ridiculously uh, good. He's I got mean, a lot of history here at Any way that you look at it, they were just awesome matches. And when you get somebody in the ring, the caliber of a James Anthony and Nathan Cross, I mean, that's, I'm showing up. I mean, I don't know about you. I'm gonna, we're definitely going to be here. We encourage everybody to fan favorite and he is in my eyes and to most of the SOM faithful the number one contender to that East Tennessee championship well you know I what mean, else? he gave up the hybrid championship to go for the East Tennessee title back at bunkhouse stampede he got jumped from the back and That's got me. hurt for months and then comes back at the Paul Morton Cup and 
And, and here's something and else. still hasn't gotten his shot at any title yet. Here's something but else yet too. Evan Golden walks in the door and all of a sudden he's got a title shot. Not only that, but he's your new champion. And you know, here's the new thing. And I'm glad you brought that up because guess what? Koga saw that celebration too. You think he was happy about what just went down? He already, he wants the hybrid title himself. Oh yeah, he wants all the titles. All, any title, all the titles. Not any title, all not one them. title. He wants all the titles. And, once and again, he is a guy that can do it. And you know, unfortunately for a lot of the competitors here in SOM, the last couple of weeks, they've been, they've been in the wrong place at the wrong time when they've had the, the, on the dotted line with Koga. Yes. Because Koga is a man on a mission and he is not going to be satisfied until he's, he's finished. And you know, no, anybody no. that stands in the way is fodder. You're just going to load, he's going to load them up and shoot them out. And like well, tonight, said, he's got the rabid reject. Now, we saw last week, you know, Ma uh, Mr. Maverick had a, had a pretty, really stellar match here with Koga. And we both talked about this. When it comes to his finisher here at Koga, when he hits you with that, it's over. It's over. There's Whoa. no getting up from that. Did you see that there? That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That was a little sugar. That's like Gene LaBelle. Gene LaBelle is one of the masters at, yep. at martial arts and stunt work. And... He would love a guy like Koga. You know, he'd be right up to somebody like Gene LaBelle's alley. Well, you gotta love that snap style. Oh, yeah. You know, that. Like the British Bulldog, you know, like the, like I mean, Dynamite the, Kid, the way he would whip it around. Chris Benoit, the way he'd knock it around. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. This is a different Koga, you know? This is a different Koga. You heard what he just said. Did you hear what he said? Everybody's ass is dead. Koga has definitely went uh, went through a transition in his journey up. back to the ring and back to SOM 505 Live. Well, you know, unfortunately, sometimes when you go through adversity, you become a stronger person, but you have to go through strong shit to become a strong person. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's the way it is. But sometimes those things do make you more brutal. Yes. And this is somebody that you know, thrives on his inner peace. Yes. And sometimes his inner peace is just beating the hell out of you. And look at this. He's pretty calm right now, but you know he's containing the beast, like you yes. said. He is messing with his head. I think this is a statement also to all the other wannabe psychiatrists that are here at the SOM that think that they can play with your mind, too. I think Koga's wanting to show Foshi a couple things here, too. He has got a laser lock on Foshi and Evan Golden and even James Anthony. He wants the titles. He wants all the titles. Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, my God. Nice Big sidewalk, sidewalk slam. slam. Yeah. Almost got him, but you know, anytime that he lifts you up, you don't know what's you know, you know, you don't know where this is going. Yeah. We also see he's softening him up too now with those kicks, those strikes. Those nasty combinations that he puts together week in and week out. Ow! Oh, split legged Ooh. moonsault. That's close. Almost a split-legged headbutt. Yeah. But unlike your guy Blade, Koga is staying focused. Even though he might try something and it might not work, he's not being cocky about it. He, right. He, he's not being. He's not. He's definitely not underestimating his his opponent. No, he definitely isn't. And you know, me and Blade again. We've talked about it all week long. You know, that was uh, that was where it made all the difference. And I noticed y'all's conversation. What was wild is you you and I are mature men. When you were having that conversation, it was almost like you didn't understand what you were talking to him about. Unfortunately, I mean that's youth. It is. It is. I saw the frustration on your face while you were talking to him about it. 
maybe that'll sink in when he when he realizes he doesn't have the title, right? I mean, there's one thing. It's one thing to be perfect, but it's also another thing to stay being perfect. Oh my God! And to be humble. Like Koga, we talked about that before too. That's one of the things that we admire. Well, I don't about. give a damn if he's humble or not. Well, I mean, he's going to come in here and he's going to do what brought him to the game. That's what people do in this business. They come in here and they sell themselves. That's right. You know, it is all about I'm the biggest badass in the locker room. He may be the smallest badass in the locker room, but he's got to make. He's got to make that decision for himself. He does. And he's going to have, it's a hard lesson to learn. It is. And unfortunately, that's the only way you can learn. No, sometimes it does take something like that to be able to learn that. Yeah. I mean, look at Klepper. Yes. I mean, he's on thin ice. You he's know. on thin ice with the family. He but, has been before. But even with, you know, everything that's been going on with the family over the last little while, you know, he gave up that arrogant style. He tried and to he got that better. That's right. Last week, he just got caught. Yeah. I mean, really and truly, I I don't know. You know, I uh, I know that Judas expects perfection. He strives for it, yeah, which we both know. He is, wants he wants yeah. his guys to do these things and to win every match. But in the end, he had firm control over that match the entire time. He didn't yeah. do anything arrogant. Everything was violent. It was all he about killing that leg. Open, I mean, busted his face open. And laughed about it, smiled about it. Got, got but you. then got caught. Yep. Every Even a blind dog can find a bone every once in a while. And you get caught with your hand in a cookie jar. Here we go. Koga. Oh, my God. Nasty hey, flatliner. And then, oh. What is this? Is he going for a submission? I think he might get it. He has got uh, Adrian Ace in a bad, bad place. Well, we talked about this earlier. Not a good place to be if you're even in that in that target area for Koga right now. No. And you better do like what you're doing right now if you're gonna. No, Coco's been hard to talk to here recently. You know, usually I can walk up and start a conversation with him and, you know, it's all good. But right now, he has nothing but laser focus on every title he can find, and that's how he's going to do it. One, two, three, it's over with. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here in the Chucky Dome and we are fired up tonight. Oh man, it's it been is a hot night in the Chucky Dome. Oh, it feels like 40 hells in the Chucky Dome, buddy. I'll tell you what, but the thing thing heated up now, we got the... the and it's giant. just getting hotter. Who's the unfortunate With the soul? family walking out here. Yeah. And the giant hunter wolf, the alpha male. Now you've got the doctor. Who's the unfortunate soul that, that signed their life away here tonight? Oh, uh, we're about to find out right now. But sure they didn't back out? Well, it's we've had a before. couple of people that said that they weren't going to do it. We've well, had yeah. people leave after they've seen their name on the dock and they just like, I got a family But person. there's one person that's not going to leave. And that's Mr. Excellent. Is that who it is? Mr. Excellent. You're right. He's dumb enough to show up and do this. I know it. He's proud enough. Mr. Excellent is tough as nails. Dr. Excellent isn't scared he of is nobody. A doctor. He is a doctor. I give him hell, but he's a very intelligent man. Excellent. That's right. Is out here. You better get away from her. 
Hart, and he is not going to shy away from a seven-footer. Yeah, you better kiss me, you ready to die. Yeah, you're going you to die because you kiss me. Introducing first, accompanied by Judas, the Mad Hatter, representing the Watch family, the alpha male, Hunter Wolf. Like I said, that man's getting ready to go to, he's getting ready to, and his opponent, dead man walking. He's everyone's favorite, Mr. <laughs> Excellent. Mr. Excellent, saying I ain't scared of Judas. And I'm not scared of this seven footer. Put Woo! me in the ring. I can't watch it. I can't watch it. <laughs> Quite a bit of a size difference oh, no, in this no, one. Okay. But Mr. <laughs> Excellent, just got to try to bulldoze him over. Oh, there we go. Showing the smarts of oh, Mr. Excellent there. Hit him in the ass. Oh, hit him in the knee. Don't matter how big you are, all the knees are the same. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, Just nice. got his head taken off by Hunter Wolf. Oh, he looked like a he looked like a canary stuck in a blender. Oh, jeez. Oh, Hunter Wolf. Big boots from Hunter Wolf. This explains why Mr. Excellent was so like he is different looking back there in the locker room today. I guess he already knew, right? He yep. had that look like he's getting his orders into affair, you know, everything in his affairs in order. And that uh, too. He, uh, he don't care. He is not scared Whoa! of this man. Hey, wait a minute. And we then there we go. See, uh, last week I was telling you, Judas always gets involved in some way, shape, or form, but he didn't get involved during the match with Jeff Klepper. All last week he didn't get involved. I was yeah, surprised he just there was did that. A couple of little spots there with Jackson Black, but well, but with Klepper, he didn't do anything with Klepper except for slap him in the face at the end. Do you think that he interfered in this because he might have saw that Mr. Exxon's doing a little better than he should be doing? It could be. Come on. Because you know he won't quit, right? Oh my uh, God! What a that's, that's boot! That's it. That's it. That's it's yeah. over. Yeah, man. The alpha male. Yeah. Three count. That's it. Here is your winner, the alpha male Hunter Wolf. Hunter Wolf, my God, just taking Mr. Excellence head off. Hey, wait a minute, Judas wait a minute. The doctor's going to need a doctor. Judas wants another doctor. one. Judas says that's not enough. He wants another one. Hunter said too easy. I need another opponent. Well, who else? Judas just screaming for somebody to come Making out his here. way toward the ring. Hunter Wolf's next opponent. Who's stupid enough to come out here? Who's stupid enough? Star Kid! Oh, really? Star Kid! Oh man, come on, dude. Da -da -da. Wow, I hope he believes his own shit because he's getting in there with the giant right now, man. I'm sorry. Star Kid's already in trouble. He just doesn't know how bad he's in trouble. Oh, gosh. I mean, I mean, you know, it's a perfect rule of life that if you are Ooh. going to a walk into any place, man. you've got to start with the biggest dog in the fight. Yeah, but here this we go. Is a little excessive. <laughs> Star Kid trying to get the fans behind him. Oh my God! Starfish got playing. Hunter Wolf. Ah! Just ready to punish people tonight. 
Well, this is all at Judas's beck and call. You know, he loves every second of this. Oh, you heard that. Oh, wow. Calling him just another loser. Talk big game on your little videos, but here you go. How big are you when you're in the ring with the Giant? The biggest yeah. man in pro wrestling right now, right? Am I wrong? He is. Yeah. And you know Judas loves that fact. Oh, Lord. Judas just loves having the alpha male in his corner. Period. Oh, very smart move by the alpha male. Oh, but not a second time. Star Kid sucked him in. Tries for a clothesline. Doesn't go anywhere. Tries for an elbow. This doesn't is go nice anywhere. Cute, but come on, man. Oh, he's finally got a reaction. Down got the big knee. man Whoa. down to one knee. Star Kid. Oh, that's it. But it looks like he's about to pay. Oh my God, what a pump handle slam. Oh my God. That's gotta be the slam of the week if there's ever been one at SOM. Wow, my God. He almost oh. put Star Kid through the ring. He slammed him so hard. To where he oh, found geez. this kid from. And the alpha male just issuing punishment at will right now. And hey, look at Judas just smiling like a. Oh, he loves it. Oh, wait a minute. Like David and Goliath. Maybe a little comeback Star here. Kid trying to make a comeback here. Nobody's taking him down yet. Uh, slap to the face, right to the head. Star Kid saying he won't give up. Well, if you're gonna be strong, if you're gonna be ready dumb, to you stand be right back up to him, but oh my God, gets a mouthful of boot, and that is all she wrote, folks. See you later, Here Star Kid. your winner, Hunter. I wonder if he's seeing stars, or if it's like little Tweety Birds, or... He lost his mask, first I of mean, all. I mean, like, he kicked his mask off his face. Wow. What a display by the alpha male here tonight. And Judas, look at him. You couldn't slap the smile off of his face right now. Folks, we'll be right back. There is no one left. Sounds like you want more of Hunter next week. Exactly sure what he's doing, but uh, like I said, he was with it makes sense now, don't it? It does make sense, Man, but yeah, taking take it on all comers. Our girl Sam Street, Sam Street, ready to come in here and put.
put on a clinic. But there he is. He's excited. I the you you haven't seen him work. scheduled for one fall with a 15-minute time limit. Introducing on the mat, El Scorpio. Yeah, it's El Scorpio. Like and I said. his opponent, she is Sam Street. Sam Street now, has let's... been a welcome addition to this roster. Let's talk about El Scorpio and... for a second. So let's, let's look at some of his influences. Have you ever seen the exotic Adrian Street? Have you ever seen yeah. Adrian Adonis? Have you yeah. ever seen Cat Weasel? Yeah. Any of these guys? He kind of... He's Boogie not Wo any of them. No, he's never competed no, yeah, that good. Okay. Uh, so, uh, also Boogie Woogie Man, let me just... What? Shut up! Jeez. Stick your oh. teeth in, lady. Scorpio doing a little dance here. Yeah, he does a lot of little dances. I'm not sure that he should be dancing around with Sam Street. Well, this is the way he works. Again, Sam Street has been a welcome addition to this roster. There you go. And we are trying and trying and trying to do everything that we can to up our women's game here at SOM. We've seen a lot of people come through here. We a few have. weeks back, we saw C Rex come through here. Uh, last week, or a couple weeks back, it was Sasaki, you know. And then we've had uh, Amanda Kiss showing up a few times. That's right. Uh, well, over the years, we've had Amanda Gordy here. You know, that's Terry Gordy's daughter. Yep. She's been here. We've had a lot of different females that have been here over the years. Riley Rocket, she was here for years. A lot of folks that were here over the years, and you're right. We need to rebuild the women's, women's well, division. Well, it's definitely time for a women's division here at SOM. I know when my kids were here a couple of weeks back, they loved the women's matches that we had, and uh, they just thought that they were just amazing in the ring, and, of course, they are. And you know what? The women that come through here, they're not, not afraid to mix it up with the guys either. You know, no, obviously they're right not. here. I mean, perfect example. Oh, giving the boot to Sam Street, giving the squirrel to Joe. Oh, there you go. wow, wrapping her up. Sam Street fighting her way back up. She's been fighting her way through this Whoa. independent division around here in East Tennessee. Nice drop toe hold by El Scorpio. Yeah, right on the top. A little wiggle wiggle. Woo. Another little walk oh. through. Surfer, surfer. Yeah. There you go, Poppy. <laughs> Off for you. I'm not sure exactly what to think of El Scorpio. Oh, yes, you you can't. You just have those weird feelings inside of you you can't explain. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to, I, I just don't even know what to say. And you know what, that's what he works off of. You know that, that's exactly, it's gone back to Gorgeous George. If, if you're looking to keep everybody confused. Yeah, uh, like that. <laughs> okay, you're epic job. Oh, looky there. Thought he was going to do the worm there for a minute. Well, he usually does a little cucaracha. Oh. Got a little cucaracha action, sometimes a cockroach. Sam Street. Throwing clotheslines. Connecting on Got to get her some momentum behind him. Oh, just steps on his foot, and there you go. Sam Street just waiting for El Scorpio to get back up. Goes for a shining wizard, but gets caught. Gets caught. El Scorpio caught him. A little dancey dance time. Little oh, spin this spin. is with the slap. Up. Oh. And the shining wizard to the back of the head. Oh, and one at the front just for good measure. 
And it's over with. It's the There's the debut of El Scorpio. They work out too well. Sam yeah. Street. But it did for her. Sam, Sam Street leading the way here at the women's division. At Absolutely right leading the way at this point. I cannot wait to see and get her more talent in here and more challenge in here. Because somebody like We just saw Sam Street leading her way through the women's division. We got Koga taking on all comers right oh, now. Yeah. I mean, like, this has been a very big night already. And then, of course, the Greenville County Fair coming up here soon. And uh, that one's going to be huge. Oh, it is. Always is. You know, because, huge crowds, huge folks, huge matches. But this time, you're going to have James Anthony, the SOM champion, versus Kerry Morton. And he, of course, is the junior NWA heavyweight champion. Well, you know, last time Ricky Morton was out there, he got jumped by Iffy, little Iffy. You know that? Yeah. You never know what's going to happen. He came all the way from Las Vegas to come to the green, to the fair to do that, to make his well, statement. Well, all I know is that night is going to be a great night, and we look for you guys to come out there. Uh, it's on the 24th, and we are going to be ready to rock and roll that night, and we're going to have a ton of fun. And I'm going to get a funnel cake. I mean, well, you, you're also going to get a ride on a bull. Let that mechanical bull out there. I'm going to pop you on there. See how that goes. I don't know about a mechanical bull. But that just sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, you'll have fun. But I don't know how much you guys are going to have fun here. You know, uh, like you said, there's been a lot of changes that's happened in the last week here yeah. at SOM. Uh, Let's just say the power pro standings are going to be a little bit different. Well, last week, we saw who had been drinking the Kool-Aid. Yeah. And it looks like Jordan Cruz has drank too much of the Kool-Aid. They actually did well as a tag team. They really did. They did an awesome job as a tag team. They didn't win. Oh, God. Surprise. He wants to talk. You heard him. I believe it. I believe in you. I believe in you. I do believe. I believe. But the question is, all that's important is do you believe? I believe anyway, that the Kool-Aid is probably Ooh. poison. I think he's been, but I'm not sure. Well, let's see if he can wrestle as good as he can run his mouth. Let's see. Well, we've seen that he can run his mouth, and we've seen that he can wrestle. But last week, they come up a little bit short. You know what I found out? three. I found out earlier, he's, he's jealous about the commentator. Oh, yeah? That's what he's been fed by that guy, man. He's so that's why he was over here yes! taking up space? Yes! Okay. That's messed up, baby. Well, let's see what he can do against, this against the face of perfection, Blade Gibson, who is out here, of course, without the Hyper Championship. He lost last week to Evan Gold. Yes, very caught well. Let's just say, um, Hopefully he learns. Well, it's the exact way that I expected Evan Golden to win that True, match. true, I true, mean, true. The following know, contest somebody is like him doesn't one come in here with a, with a 15 minute time limit. You know, wanting to Introducing play first, to my right, accompanied by Michael Gabriel, Jordan Cruz. 
He's guaranteeing a win. And his opponent. Guaranteeing a win. He is the face of Over perfection. Blade Gibson. Blade Gibson. But that's just the thing. Last week we saw a distracted Blade Gibson. Yes, we did. And it cost him majorly. It cost him big time. Big time. And now he's got, he's got the mean, number of course, game. the ending, you know, to that match was definitely not a, uh, you know, not a fair ending. He don't kick him in the nether region. There's nothing yeah. particularly fair in this business. Life's not fair, right? Life's not fair. But... I wholeheartedly believe if he would have kept his head in that match yes, and I agree. played his game instead of playing games with Evan Golden, then he would still be wearing that hybrid championship tonight. I totally agree. Both of us saw it and called it out. And you, I mean, you saw it more than I did because I've seen it before. But uh, maybe he, like he said, learned a lesson on that, take it a little serious. But now he's got to deal with two people. Yep. So now he's got to deal with the outside interference deal. You know, come on, let's call it like it is. It's, it's, it's out there. What outside interference? Come on. You know what I mean. It hasn't happened yet, and it may not happen, but it's always the, it can happen. Blake Gibson, three knees right to the face of Jordan Cruz. Goes for a fourth one, and oh, oh gets geez. an elbow for his trouble. I do know that Cruz does not like Blade. I know that. I don't think that Cruz likes anybody, including Michael Gabriel. That's true too. That's it. I mean, to me, I think that Jordan Cruz thinks Michael Gabriel is a means to an end. Yes, but you're right. They're both using each other, man. They definitely have good chemistry, and they showed that last week. They'll do it. They came it up short. That's right. But Bam. they still showed that they have good chemistry together. Which means their chemistry is being tested right now. And that's going to be the true test. Absolutely. How many times can that happen before it dismantles? I mean, last week they fought against a former SOM champion. Yeah. Former multi-time tag team champions. And every Mr. SOM himself, yeah. Ricky Dooley, really. Um, and they still put on a good show. You know. They didn't just get the house cleaned with themselves. And if you don't have that good chemistry together, then you can't, I mean, it won't you work. cannot tag team in this business. For long. I mean, you can do it for a minute, but it won't last. Jordan Cruz saying he's taking perfection to the moon, Alice. He's still calling it a fluke, you know? Yep. Jordan Cruz showing everybody the face of perfection. Well, you know what's wild is they asked me earlier if they could come on and talk about some grievances. And I told them they needed to buy some time like everybody else does here at SOM. Yeah. I saw that, that little thing there, they kind of took it upon themselves earlier to well, you can't just be coming and walking over into the commentator's booth. No, I mean, we, I'm sure there'll be some fines for that. There I probably know with production, will production, and I know, believe me, I know. Well, I don't know. You know, that's Judas is going to look at That's something that Judas would look at and would like a whole lot. That, but he also likes to make money. He Judas also will find likes your to ass make money. Gets, he'll, he'll find ass. Ask, oh my God! Ask Willie Maynard. What a nasty clothesline! He hit Willie where it counted. You know that? He did hit Willie where it counted. Where is right it? Where does it count? Hit you in the wallet. So. Yep. The referee Joe, he's learned his lessons over the years too. You know, I mean, he's he's learned that he's going to have to pull his own. 
or Judas will let him go. Just like that. I mean, you know, Blaze looks like he's kind of Michael broken. Gabriel has got that book of Gabriel open over there, and he was reading it. If I'm not mistaken, that looks a whole lot like a dictionary. I think he uses it just to find big words. Yeah, I was going to say, have you actually read it and looked at it? No, he won't let anybody look at it. Is it one of those fake books, you know, that maybe it's a safe? I mean, like I said, it kind of looks like a dictionary. You know those fake, you know what I'm saying, fake things yeah. like hide your weed in it or like money or whatever. Kool-Aid. Face of perfection. Wow! Big cross body. Hey, wait not a minute. Not wasting any time there. Now, hey. Did so Joe at least see... he listened a little bit this week. Was it just me or did I see a purple hand just kind of fly in, fly out? I do. I think that's uh I know it's Grimace's Something's birthday happened. this month, but you know what Grimace is? No. It's a taste bud. Really? Yeah. It's his birthday this month. I mean, better than what I thought it was. I mean. Ow, oh, my God. Hit him in the ass with the book. Oh, the face of perfection. He's Get hanging him, him over to the top of the he ring. Was choking him, like, hanging him. <laughs> oh, Cruz has got him up. Oh, Death Valley driver by Cruz. And it's wow, over with. another loss. Another loss. Here is your winner, Jordan Cruz. Another loss for your boy. You know, but I mean. still not a clean win for either Jordan Cruz or for Evan Gold. But Blade's going to have to step There's up. There's still He's no clean win up. there. He's going to have to step up. He's going to have to step up if his competition is going to be coming at him. He can't be hanging out in the corner, acting all cocky and, and all this stuff. He's going to have He didn't. He I didn't. Mean, he, time, came, right. he came in here with a different game plan this week, and he stayed on target. He should have brought a friend with him. You don't go to a fight with two guys by yourself. No, you don't. You can go all right, folks, him. we'll be right back. Hey, we're off air. You're off air? We're off air. We, we literally. You're going to tell your friends, and they're going to tell everyone here that George Cruz is a founder. Hey, wait a minute. Bring it back on. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Come back, 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 come back. Hey, are you just looking for big words? or And why are you over here taking up space? Aren't we all taking up space in this world, Bob? Are you taking up space? Are you and Malik taking up space? The fact that you give us this microphone right now shows you how much of a platform that we have here at this school. Jordan Cruz, he'll go for it all, baby, especially with my guidance, sir. So, hey, let's, let's try, try it with, with the, the camera, camera rolling, rolling next time. Because it, it wasn't that time. time. But that's, that's good. good. That's good practice. practice. I, like I like it. I like it. it. It's, it's good. good. It's, it's good. good. It's good. I got a little something to say. All right, all these ugly, illiterate, smelly people here, you guys should count your blessings because I am going to keep winning. I'm going to keep beating down these fools. Jordan, the real Maverick Cruz, son of Tom Cruz. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I, I couldn't, couldn't hear you over the crap that, that was just flowing out of your mouth. Shut up. Somebody had Somebody come and get him out of here. Get these two out of here. Oh. Sorry. We, we still didn't get that out. We still didn't get that
Ladies and gentlemen, my guest at this time, Draco! You know me, I'm usually sitting back there. I mean, when I beat Jeff Klepper, but he kind of banged up my leg a little bit, I need a little bit of room, you know, stretch, stretch it out a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I need to, how's your nose? My nose? I think we're good for now. I think we're good for now, yeah. You definitely had a bloody, nasty match last week, and of course, you pulled it out because you're Draco, and just out of nowhere, it was a cartel cutter, game over. What's next for Draco? What's next for Draco? Man. That's, that's, a, that's a question that, that I've been asking myself for the last, you know, eight years. What is next for Draco? I mean, I've done, I've done just about everything there is to do here. I've been a tag team champion, been the X Division champion, been the East Tennessee heavyweight champion. I've won the Paul Morton Cup. You know, I've done just about everything there is to do here. You know, uh, la, 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 it's time for, for Draco to, to hang, it, hang it up and, you know. Have I done everything? Hey. Y'all think I'm done? No. I'm just getting started. I think I'm with them. I think, I think, I think there's more to Draco than meets the eye. And I think that that punk Foshi just keeps ducking and dodging because oh. he knows that I can take that East Tennessee Heavyweight championship. Boom. Clash just like that. Just like I beat Klepper in the blink of an eye. He knows that in a blink of an eye, I can take that title from him. And that's why he keeps ducking and dodging. And everybody that wants to come take my spot, I dare you, try it. I'm the greatest for a reason. Everybody can line up. The line starts with me because I never got my one-on-one -on -one shot. So anybody that wants to come and try to take my spotlight, try and take my shine, put the same work that I do. Do what I do in the ring. Do everything better than me, and then maybe you'd be in the spot that I'm in. Get these people behind you like I got them. All I gotta do is walk, listen, listen to them. Listen to them, you feel that? That's eight years of work, dedication, passion, drive that I put in here, blood, sweat, tears. Draco is not done by any means, and Foshi, when you have the set of cajones, the set of huevos, the set of balls grown on you, I'll be waiting for you. And that East Tennessee Heavyweight Championship is gonna be coming home with the greatest drink. Well, folks, you heard it here. Draco's not done by a long shot, and he is ready to take on all comers. We'll be right back. Evan Gold trying to fight out. Pulls the referee up. Oh! Evan Golden! Here we go. Oh my god! Evan Golden! Oh my! What in the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner! You gotta Hybrid champion, Evan Goldman. Evan Goldman. All right. Setting up his finisher and winning the Hybrid Championship. Hello, Governor. All right, folks. We are back and ready to rock and roll. You just heard big, big, big things I from was. Draco. I was. I mean, there has been a lot of animosity surrounding Draco. You know, for eight years, like for you eight said, years, uh, it it has been, but I've said it so many times. He's the guy that can walk in here and take a championship from anybody. It don't matter who it is. He's faced everybody I that's mean, come through the door here at SOM. Everyone, every uh, every single person. Every single person. I mean, and you saw last week against Jeff Klepper. All it takes is one second, yeah. followed by three seconds. And a little help from some other people. <laughs> well, I mean, but still, you know, he right. did, uh, he didn't need help last week. But you know, I mean, Draco, all of a sudden, it was just cartel cutter out of nowhere. And you know, Draco knows that as well as anybody. 
But speaking oh, of people that chance. don't like clean wins, here's my new buddy. Oh yeah. Everybody has to play Gibson's best friend right now. And speaking of somebody that's got a target on them. You know, you would think you would put a little bit more into showing off that championship instead of that sparkly jacket he's got on. Oh, he's kind of calmed down a little bit since he showed up here. I guess he's kind of calmed down a little bit with the championship. That's because when it's just handed to you, you don't respect it. Well, now here's the question. Yep. You can get it. But can you hold? How long are we going to hold on to it? That's exactly it. It's like you said, it just takes one second, followed by two. Yep. To make it happen. And this guy here is a rematch that I've wanted to see because a few weeks back, this was a hell of a match. Now there's more consequences to the match. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this fall match is like, scheduled for really? one fall. Yeah. With a 15 minute time limit. It is a contenders match. Introducing first, contenders. on my right, he is the new SOM hybrid champion, the golden child, Evan Golden. And his opponent, the Aztec Jaguar Warrior, Santiago. See, Santiago is one of these guys that has been just furious at Evan Golden for being able to walk in the door and just get a title shot. He's been walking around cussing in Spanish for two weeks now. Yeah. Um. And he's also got to know in his mind that he really pushed Golden to the limit. He did push him to the limit, but still kind of came up short, you know. Um, and now he's the champ. So there's always another chance. Oh! Evan Golden ain't going to talk smack to Santiago. Santiago has definitely got something to prove tonight. It's another one of those times So you've got, you got Santiago who, it's like I said, he, he is just furious that Golden got to come in here and just have free run of the place. You see, Golden loves that because once again, he stepped into the champ game. Yeah. So when you're mad and you're furious, like you just said, you can't see right, you can't think right. Yep. And the champ loves every second of it. And more he can keep you on that, it's right. It, hey, that's how he got the belt, really. That's how he got the title in the first place. It is. He let. He just watched Blade Gibson and just sucked him right into his own game. He's a con man. He knows what his weeks and his strengths were when they had their match. He already scouted them out. And he knew one of his weaknesses was his confidence. He gets a little over cocky sometimes at the wrong time. It costs him. And the same thing, we got to watch out here with Mr. Santiago. Same thing. He gets a little cocky. He gets a little, he's very good. Well, earlier tonight, Blake Gibson was on the warpath all the way up until he got hit in the back of the head with that, whatever that book of Gabriel is. We should have found out. We should have. And then, of course, during the commercial break, they came over here talking all kinds of smack. Like well, they, they just looked really stupid after that, didn't they? Anyway. You run into all types, you know? You do. But that's a Kool-Aid I don't think anybody's Yeah, I guess drink. even the Bears think that they're the main thing at the circus, you know what I mean? That's it. So do the clowns. Speaking of champions, what are you thinking about our title run here from our new hybrid champion here, Mr. Golden? I know you were very upset about him kind of fast-tracking his way to the top here, but it happens all the time, doesn't it, in the 
in the world? Well, again, minus you know a couple of small things last week that led to uh, that led into big things. I mean, as they he always do, really, yeah. really did a great job last week. As much as I hate to say that, yeah. Well, but then you've got you know, it's like you said, he's got to keep it. Now he's got to prove that he can hold on to the championship. That's right. Everyone can start a marathon, but not everybody finishes. You know, That's and it. not everybody wins. And right now he's got Santiago in a hurt lock right in the middle of the ring. Now this is a contendership match. This is not for the title. No. This is just to, just to become a contender. Now, I know that's got to upset some of the guys that are probably in the locker room going contendership. This guy should be getting a title shot. He was already a contender before the, this golden guy even showed up, right? Yep. Calling it like it is a little bit. But sometimes life bees that way, as downtown Bruno would say. Mama says it bees that way sometimes. Oh! oh just like that. Just like that. Oh, my God. Evan Golden going for it all. Almost lost it all. Got Bounce back in the middle of the ring. Oh, Santiago, the shining wizard. It's like he got a little bit too much on the knee right there. Up, oh, Santiago saying it's done. See, I, see. Oh, wait a minute here. See, too much on the knee. Evan Golden. Sees his opportunity right here. That was something Evan did earlier to him that caught up to him. Oh, oh my love God. It, love, it, love it. It's over. It's done. That was nasty. Good night, sweetheart. Santiago got his foot on the ropes. I don't think he meant to do that. I Evan think, Golden I think he thought it was desperate, over with. Desperate kick out, and his feet just happened to go on the rope. Santiago still with something to prove in this match. Uh, good. Oh, oh my God, what was Get that? Get down there, Joe. We almost had it. Ooh. That looked like that was in fast motion, didn't it? Yeah. Oh. What's going on here? Roll him around, roll him around. Evan Golden jumping up on top. They're getting a little. They're getting a little shoot going on here, a little bit, man. You know, when you get down on the ground like that, it gets uh, it gets a little rough. But it all comes down to wrist control, ankles, eyes, nose. He should be a doctor, like a ear, eye, and throat specialist. You know that? Oh beautiful. my God! It's beautiful. That's it. It's over with. Another chalk it up. Here's your winner. The SOM Hybrid Champion, Evan Golden. We're going to do a real interview. No, it's not quite over yet. Evan Golden, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about coming in here and taking the title from Blake Gibson. Not winning the title, you took it from him. Bobby Lee. Anyone with a pair of eyes knows that Evan Golden won that contest fair and square. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Blake Gibson, it took you two weeks' time to be a man and show up and accept my hybrid championship challenge, and you didn't show up because you were too scared and you were taking a vacation from Evan Golden. And that's just how it is, Bobby. That's just how it is. Well, you've got a lot of guys that weren't on vacation, still not on vacation. Who's next? Hey, get him out of here. Get him out of here. You want to sit here and say I'm scared of you? You want that fair and square? I watched the video back over, and I felt it, obviously. You low blowed me. You went below the waist. You couldn't beat me on your best day. Just understand, I have a rematch clause. I'm going to be chasing after that. That time, I worked five months to get a shot at that. I don't know if you know this or not, Blade, 
You lost to the most vicious afterburner that SOM has ever seen. I did not low blow. There was no low blow. Lane Gibson, I can't even believe you're here right now since for two weeks' time you were scared of the golden child. Shut up. Bobby, correct me if I'm wrong, Bobby. And you all correct me if I'm wrong. The very start of the match, who said they were walking away and was done? They were leaving. I know it wasn't me. Who was it? Bo Bobby, who, who said they were leaving? You wanted to leave at the very beginning of the match. I just needed a break. There are no breaks in this business. It's called a timeout, Bobby. There's no timeouts in this business. Call a timeout, and you people need to keep your mouth shut. Why 24 Karen Evan Golden is out here. Shut up. Evan, look at me in the eyes when I say this. Your day as champions are already numbered. I'm coming back from my hybrid champion, and I'm more than going to be happy to make all these people proud by knocking your teeth down your throat. And that's not a prediction. That's not a spoiler. That's nothing more than absolute perfection. So I'll see you soon. That's all she wrote there, folks. We'll be right back. heard a lot of big words from Evan Golden yeah. and Blake Gibson. Blake Gibson saying that he is going to invoke that rematch clause. Hasn't said when yet, uh, but has definitely said that um, Evan Golden's days are numbered. So, as I've said before, if he can keep his head in the game and, yep, and yep. play his own game, then he's going to win. Did you see the way that Evan Golden got fr uh, got frustrated and yeah, flustered? I did. I did. You put him on the spot. You're like Geraldo Rivera. You call that the... I mean, I you didn't even have to work court. to do that. No, so, hit him with the hard welcome to SOM. That's right. Well, you beat it to him because you know. I mean, you like him out on That's exactly it. Uh, now these guys right. here... Those dirty pit bulls. They've been caught twice in us. They have. And of course, we got Sean Carson out here with them. And you notice he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Hey, yeah, yeah. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, he, he does have a, a jacked up coat. But Brandon Moore. Came out last week and is now in a match with because somebody country. that just Crazy. scares the hell out of me. You remember Leatherface? Yes. You remember Ed Gein? Yeah. You were with those? Oh, I do. Uh, he's a throwback. I mean, he's been, like, he's he's been sitting Luther. back in the corner backstage all day. Man. I mean, I don't know what the deal with Fork is. Oh, I, I mean, you know, he's head. I mean, he just sits and just waits and talking, but you can't really hear what I'm saying. Laugh. The following yes. contest gives us a one fall. Introducing first, well, sometimes representing the Pit Bulls, the company to the ring, by Dallas Moore and Sean Carson. Brandon the young Moore. Pit Bull, Brandon Moore. 
And his opponent. Brandon Moore got him some new duds. Sitting yeah. in front of me. He is Cousin Condry. But Brandon Moore not shying away from Cousin Condry, which is huge. Well, he knows his reputation. He knows. He's, he's seen him. He's probably had nightmares since, he, since last week, we know, when he showed up. Telling you, he's a wild cat, man. Oh my God! Brandon Moore starting this off huge. Cousin Condry off the. Oh my God! You're gonna love Cousin Condry. I'm telling you. Holy crap! You know where they loved him? In, Jap in Japan. Oh, I'm sure. They ran from him. You know what I mean? I want to run from him. And I'm sitting way the hell over here. Throwbacks, you know, do like Abdullah the Butcher, the Sheik, yeah, the original yeah. Sheik. Yeah. Referee Joe up to a three count. Brandon Moore taking his time getting back in here. I think he thought starting this off hot like that would uh, help him out, but. Well, you know, if you check out the archives, you can see the last time Conjury was here, he left with the fireball in the face. Oh, wow. From the Sultan. Is that where he got the mask? Yeah. Oh. His face got all burned up, man. That was pretty much the end of his run here at SOM a while back. But you know what? It's amazing when they come back their season. They're different. They got attitude. They still got old grudges like this. He remembers him when he was here as a kid. So Condry's oh. already in his head. Already in his head. Free space, Brent. Free. Well, he's in my head. Like I said, I don't even have to face it. I'm just hoping they don't make me interview him. I don't, I, I'm, the, I'm your guy. I've interviewed him many times, him and I, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Oh my God. <coughs> <coughs> what a nasty leg drop by Brandon Moore. Brandon Moore coming in here every week doing something new. He's always got something new that he's trying. He's trying his hardest to perfect his game. Oh my God, what a nasty spine buster. Whips him back up. Big kick to the face by Brandon Moore. He better stay on him. One thing about Carnage, he's kind of like Michael Myers. Brandon so. Moore's got kind of a little bit more urgency to him. He knows he needs to take it, finish it up a little faster than usual. I mean, is that because Sean Carson's out, or is that just no, Brandon Moore naturally stepping up and showing that, you know, hey, look, I am the pit bull. Well, I think it's because he knows Condry might kill him. You know, I'm, I'm serious here. Yeah, that's true. Oh, my God, what are they doing here? Oh, no, don't do this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, get somebody out here. Wow, Cousin Condry. You know what's the scary thing? Is He's okay. That's the scary thing about Condry. Didn't phase him. I cannot believe this man is even moving right oh, now. Oh, he's, he's okay. See, that's what's crazy about Conjury. Brandon Moore trying to get him back in the ring. That'd kill a normal person. But we're not talking about a normal person. That was ridiculous, folks. Brandon Moore finally gets him in the ring and only gets See? a two count. That's what I'm saying. Like Michael Myers, you know, you don't go away. I don't know, you, uh, you got to burn. This guy is nuts. Hey, look there. You hear the high-pitched screams coming out. <laughs> Brandon Moore, he knows he's in another, another place. Brandon Moore trying everything tonight. Man, what a Death Valley driver onto the apron there. Look at here. I believe he just took slam of the week right there. Yes. Oh, they're just teeing off on each other. Oh my God. And both together. What a match we have got right now. 
Brandon Moore and Cousin Condroy. Holy crap. And you kind of think about like other characters too, like Abyss and Raven and all these different characters that were kind of on the fence, you know what I mean? Like, yep. I've, I've always been a huge fan of country just for these reasons. Wow, what was that about? Oh my God! Moore showing his intestinal fortitude and kicking out of a thunderous powerbomb. Oh, and Dallas better watch out too. He'll eat Dallas. He'll rip his face off and use it as a mask. Brandon rolling to the side there, trying to catch his breath. Cousin Condroy just stalking him. Bad place for Brandon Moore to be. Oh, and moves out of the way. Oh, hey. what is he doing now? I know what he's doing. Watch this. Going for a little space time here. What is Brandon Moore doing now? Trying to go for another slam of the week. Oh my God! That almost broke the Holy way. crap! Brandon Moore pulling out every stop in the playbook tonight to take down Cousin Condroy. And Cousin Condroy oh, yeah. kicked I'm telling you, I'm out. telling you. He kicked out. Malik, he kicked out. Yes, I'm not surprised. This guy, I'm telling you, he's like Frankenstein. He's like Dracula. He's like Leatherface. Oh Condry. my God, what does Brandon Moore have to do to put this guy away? Have you ever hung out with him? No, I don't, I don't even want to get near him. Oh! Holy crap! Oh, and Had that been in the center of the ring, that would have been a three count. I mean, he just... I'm not sure if Brandon Moore saved himself or if Cousin Condroy just made a mistake. But whatever happened, it pissed him off and up, oh, here he goes. Oh my God. That's it. Oh, it is over with, folks. Here is what your a winner, match. Cousin Condry. they won't make me do that again. We'll be right back. Wow, 
There are definitely times that I wonder if I'm paid enough for this job. Well, you and that was one of them. That guy's scary as hell. You manifested that one. You said, I hope I don't get to interview him. Yeah, the monkeys in the back the heard it. Headphones. They kind of <laughs> hear everything. So, But we are back, folks, and... We have got a big main event coming up to you right now. The whole night's been a main Six event. Six-man tag team match. I mean, what a hell of a way to end the night. This has been a fantastic night here in the Chucky Dome. We have had a blast. We cannot wait to the state fair. It's going to be the SOM champion versus Kerry Morton. And then uh, we're going to have Kylie and Kenzie Page. And, of course, we're going to have Mr. A.J. Kazana. And, and, of course, the Drill Billy. Right. N.W.A. going to be representing in the house, but also S.O.M.'s oh, going to be representing in the house that night, too. Come out there July 24th. We're going to be there at the Green County Fair rocking and rolling. Wolf's already blew through two people. Oh, I think he could have kept on going. Everybody just took off. I'm surprised James Anthony's even out here. I mean, with the family being that strong, I mean. But you've got to have him when you've got Ricky Dooley, RT3, and then the person that wants a title shot so bad he cannot stand it. Nathan Cross. The so we got RTD. Uh, Nathan Dooley. RTND. RTND. Yep, they're going to have the Dooley do at the CJ's Bar. The following contest is your main event, and it's a six-man tag team match. Introducing first, representing the family, accompanied by Judas, the Mad Hatter. They are the East Tennessee Tag Team Champions. Jeff Klepper and Jackson Black. James Anthony out here with his two partner. managers. Accompanied to Maya the Ferrari ring. Ferrari and Prince by Isaiah. Maya Ferrari. He is the SOM heavyweight champion, James Anthony. Oh, looky there. Just throwing it in RT3's face and in Nathan Cross's face. Of course, RT3 doesn't have a shot at going Their back opponents. after the title. After Bunkhouse for all in that That's strap right. match. Ricky Dooley. Nathan Cross. And RT3. Well, the fans really like this team. Oh, wow, it's going to be loud in here tonight. Fans loving this team. There's Ricky always kind of partaking over there. Judas trying to get out of the ring there. What a six-man tag team match we have got 
to end this show tonight. Is Ricky okay? I think he's tripping. I think Dooley Juice has been a little bit too strong. <laughs> That's a weird way to get in the, uh, yep. That's Ricky Dooley. Referee Joe trying to get all this under control, so we can ring a bell. And here we go. We're starting it off with the match that everybody wanted to see. Nathan Cross and James Anthony. Nathan Cross wanting to go, oh. And James Anthony, mind game central. And brings out the new loud mouth of the family, Jackson Black. That's right. Yeah, you know, Judas just loves this kid. I mean, he's about the only person in the bag that has a bigger mouth than Judas. Yeah, I don't think these guys have, have have tangled together yet. I don't think they have either, and this is a match that I would really like to see one-on-one. -on -one. I think it's down the road. I see it happening. That would be a good one for the CJ's bar matches. Yeah. And you know both of these guys are going to be uh, going through the tournament for the oh, yeah. CJ's bar uh, heavyweight title. That's right. So both of them will have their opportunity there. And either of these guys could win that title. Jackson Black has got a loud mouth, but man, he really does uh, back backs, it up. Yeah, he backs it up. And that drives people crazy. You know, when you do that, people hate that in sports. You know that, like a quarterback talks that smack, but then he wins every game. Yep, player. until you can cut him off like I did Evan Golden earlier. Yeah. That was great. I'd be I'd be weary of a receipt. You might he might have you know he's friends with Contrary, right? Well, he's the type of person that's gonna run his mouth either way it goes. It's hard to hear yourself with Nathan Cross in the building. It's always been like that. It's almost like the Beatles. Well. You got Nathan Cross and RT3 on the same team. And then Ricky Dooley's here just Everybody enjoying him, his buzz. Yeah. You know. He's here. Yeah, he's happy. He's ready to fight all six men on the other side of the ring. He'll fight his own guys. Yeah. But, of course, Ricky Dooley's been at a loss without Big Frankie out here. Yeah, he's been kind of depressed. Well, yeah, and of course we hope that Big Frankie's getting along real well. We'll be real happy to see him back when he comes back. I'm really wondering what happened to Oinkers at this point. Because the family took him the last time, and then we haven't seen him since. Oh! Sidewalk slam by RT3. I think they ate oinkers. Why would you eat a dog? Because it tastes like chicken. Wow! Oh! Big splash by RT3. And of course, James Anthony jumping in to save the day. <laughs> Jackson Black. You got tagged. Oh, and here we go. Can't keep avoiding him forever. Cheers. May not be for the title, but I believe somebody's got an ass whipping to take.
James Anthony pissing off RT3. Right? <laughs> yep. Oh. oh! Oh! And here he goes, RT3 with that retribution. Hasn't been in the ring with him since the Paul Morton Cup and has been aching to get his hands back on James Anthony. Going for the cover there. James Anthony trying to back his way out of this. Oh, these fans are loving this. There's Every no place of... to run here. As I told Evan Golden, there ain't no timeouts in this game. Oh, looky here. Oh, the big swing from RT3. Whoa. Oh, it just nails him. I'm surprised that RT3 is even tagging out at this point. Oh, man. He, he, I think he just wants everybody else to get a little bit of it. <laughs> I mean, he's waited a month to get his hands back on James Anthony. And he really showed the world what he thought of James Anthony. Oh, he did. But Ricky Dooley getting a rake to the eye by James Anthony. James Anthony tagging in Klepper. Uh-oh. Little double team there by James Anthony and Klepper. Whoa. Klepper with a little bit of something to prove after last week. Oh, just raking the face, grabbing the nose. Ow. Oh my God, that's rough. Klepper really put Draco through his paces last week. But again, as I said in my interview with Draco, it was just that quick. Yeah, cartel like cutter that. over. Yep, out of nowhere. But Klepper had firm control over that entire match. But it still makes me wonder because Judas never got involved in that match at all. You know, but then came in and slapped him afterwards. Oh, he's pissed. Because Klepper lost. Oh my God, Jackson Black. Oh! This kid has been so impressive. Oh yes. Over the last few weeks since he's walked through the door. He has. I don't care who you are, who's watching, who you're pulling for, who you like, who you don't like. When you get talent like Jackson Black in there, I mean, he has just been amazing. Major. And I really cannot wait to see him versus a Nathan Cross. I mean, there's so many people in that locker room oh, yeah. that he could go against, and it's just going to be a ridiculously good match. He's one that wow. I could see taking that uh, taking that hybrid championship from Evan Golden. I can see. Uh oh, what's going on here? Ricky Dooley's getting uh, he's getting railroaded here. They're running a train on him. Oh, James Anthony, double drop kick. Blowing a kiss and to RT3. And a kiss to RT3. And Nathan Cross. 
both of them. No, that was right to RT3. Signed, sealed, delivered. Ricky Dooley is in a bad spot. Oh, there he goes. Ricky Dooley. I guess the Dooley juice has finally kicked in. But then he just got kicked in the face. James Anthony taught an RT3 into the ring. Pulls him over to the corner and gets the hell out of there. Klepper's in the match now. Who needs a tag? Well, I guess Jackson Black does. Now that the referee's watching. Oh! Oh, man. Jackson Black with a nasty elbow. Him and Klepper working good together. Yeah, they are. It's like Judas has been on both of their asses this week. Yeah. Klepper getting Ricky Dooley up there. No stranger to Ricky Dooley at all. No. These guys were actually tag team partners at one time down the road in the past. A lot of animosity between these two right now, or over the years. Just since I've been here, these two have fought and fought and fought and fought. Ricky Dooley with a big cross body. This is his shot right now to get a tag in to either RT3 or Nathan Cross. Well, don't go to that corner. You'll get tagged over there, but it won't be what you want. No. Ricky Dooley. Fans are trying to wheel Ricky Dooley over to the corner oh. and gets the tag to Nathan Cross. Nathan Cross, clean in house. Starting with James Anthony. Up, oh, coming off. Oh my God, what a nasty sling blade. Almost had a three count there. Oh, Nathan Cross taking out the garbage. Oh. Oh my God, he's got him in a cross face. Klepper in with the save. Yeah, he was. Big save. James that was. Anthony, I think, got lucky on that one. Oh, Nathan Cross, big in Seguri. Oh, man, Jackson Black with that swinging neck breaker, but then getting a knee. Ricky Dooley getting a kick to the face. Oh, look at it. Uh oh. Oh, Razor Blade Spine Buster by RT3. RT3. Just kicking James Anthony out of the ring. Clipper taking out RT3. Nathan Cross taking out Clipper. Nathan Cross with the reversal. Oh, and then Clipper with a flatliner. What's he doing? Oh, he's getting a spear. Oh, my goodness. Here are your winners. One second. Ricky Dooley. One Nathan second. Nathan Cross. That's all it took and was one R second. T3. Mr. Cooper took his eyes off the prize, and Jeff Klepper got a spear for his trouble. Fans are going nuts hey, here in the chairs. Chucky Dome. They're standing up in their chairs. It's going crazy. Here's what's up with this. Clapper. 
RT3, Nathan Cross, and Ricky Again. Dooley. And then, oh, here comes the, here comes Judas. No love Last loss week, here. I told you I would give you another chance. You just blew it. As a matter of fact, today is it. You are out of the family. In other words, you're stinking ass this fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> Klepper just got fired from the family. Judas is pissed. I knew that was coming. As soon as he got pinned, I was like, Oh, he's but he's getting a welcoming committee over at the door.